Breaking news from the Starship Flight 6 mission has taken an unexpected turn. While all eyes were on Booster 13's recovery efforts near the launch site, an incredible discovery was happening on the other side of the world. The first recovered components of Starship 31 have just surfaced in Australia, revealing fascinating details about SpaceX's most ambitious test flight yet. Our exclusive footage shows remarkably intact COPV tanks and heat shield tiles from S-31, recovered by the limitless vessel just four days after the historic flight. These components tell a compelling story about the spacecraft's performance during its challenging journey back to Earth. But that's not all. SpaceX has just achieved another monumental milestone with their Falcon 9 program that's reshaping the future of space travel. Plus, we have fresh insights into China's bold plans for their first crewed mission to the moon. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're bringing you the full story of these groundbreaking developments that are transforming space exploration before our eyes. Let's dive right in. Breaking news from the Starship Flight 6 mission has taken an unexpected turn. While all eyes were on Booster 13's recovery efforts near the launch site, an incredible discovery was happening on the other side of the world. The first recovered components of Starship 31 have just surfaced in Australia revealing fascinating details about SpaceX's most ambitious test flight yet. Our exclusive footage shows remarkably intact COPV tanks and heat shield tiles from S-31, recovered by the limitless vessel just four days after the historic flight. These components tell a compelling story about the spacecraft's performance during its challenging journey back to Earth. But that's not all. SpaceX has just achieved another monumental milestone with their Falcon 9 program that's reshaping the future of space travel. Plus, we have fresh insights into China's bold plans for their first crewed mission to the moon. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're bringing you the full story of these groundbreaking developments that are transforming space exploration before our eyes. Let's dive right in. The recovery operation of Starship 31 has become one of the most dramatic chapters in SpaceX's history. As dawn broke over the Australian waters that fateful morning, the crew aboard the Limitless vessel made a discovery that would change our understanding of spacecraft re-entry dynamics. Through the morning mist, they spotted something glinting on the ocean surface, the first signs of S-31's recovered components, marking a moment that would reshape the future of space exploration. The recovered COPV tanks tell a story of remarkable resilience. Each tank, pristine despite its journey through the atmosphere, represents countless hours of engineering innovation. When the recovery team first laid hands on these components, they couldn't hide their amazement. Between four to eight tanks had survived virtually untouched, defying all expectations. One senior engineer, upon examining the tanks, reportedly whispered, this changes everything. But it was the heat shield tiles that truly stunned the recovery team. These weren't just ordinary surviving components. They were intact pieces of one of the most critical systems on any spacecraft. The nose cone tiles in particular revealed a revolutionary design choice that no one saw coming. Instead of traditional pinning methods, SpaceX had employed an advanced adhesive system. This seemingly risky decision proved to be a stroke of genius, as the tiles remained firmly attached throughout the extreme forces of re-entry. The plot thickened when the renegade ship returned to Exmouth port. Despite being equipped with specialized fenders designed for towing intact spacecraft, it arrived empty-handed. This unexpected turn of events sent ripples through the space community. However, what initially seemed like a setback unveiled a deeper story about Starship's incredible journey through Earth's atmosphere. As engineers began piecing together the puzzle of Flight 6's final moments, each recovered component added another layer to the narrative. The nose cone fragments revealed fascinating patterns of heat distribution, suggesting that Starship maintained remarkable stability during its descent. Every scratch, every burn mark, every intact system told part of a larger story about how this massive spacecraft behaved during humanity's most ambitious test flight yet. Meanwhile, in Florida, another chapter of space history was being written. On a crisp November evening, as the clock struck 11.41 p.m. Eastern Time, Launch Complex 39A roared to life. The Falcon 9's 400th successful mission wasn't just another launch. It was a testament to human perseverance and innovation. As the rocket pierced through the night sky, carrying 24 Starlink satellites, 
The magnitude of this achievement hung heavy in the air. 400 successful missions, more than most rocket families achieve in their entire operational history. The journey to this milestone was anything but smooth. Flashback to the challenging months of July, August, and September. Each launch during this period presented unique challenges that tested the limits of SpaceX's engineering prowess. While none resulted in failure, these incidents served as sobering reminders of the razor's edge between success and setback in the space industry. But perhaps the most jaw-dropping statistic emerged just two days before this historic launch, the 375th successful booster landing. Picture this, 375 rockets, each the size of a small skyscraper, not only launching successfully, but returning home to fly again. A decade ago, such a feat would have been dismissed as science fiction. Today, it's become almost routine, though no less remarkable. The pace of innovation has created an atmosphere of electric anticipation within the space community. As SpaceX races toward their 500th successful mission, projected for mid to late 2025, each launch brings new lessons, new challenges, and new triumphs. The company's engineers work tirelessly, pushing the boundaries of what's possible while maintaining an unprecedented launch cadence. Adding to this drama, a new player has entered the game with bold ambitions. China's recent revelation of their first crewed lunar mission plans has sent shockwaves through the industry. Their newly released animation showcases the lunar rover Lon, a testament to their rapidly advancing space capabilities. The Wencheng launch facility buzzes with activity as they prepare for what could be one of the most significant moments in their space program's history. The stakes couldn't be higher. China's declaration of their 2030 moon landing goal has transformed the space race into a sprint. Every launch, every recovery, every technological advancement now carries the weight of national pride and human achievement. For SpaceX, this means pushing harder, innovating faster, and taking calculated risks that could reshape our approach to space exploration. Speaking of calculated risks, the next phase of Starship testing represents perhaps the boldest gambit yet. Flight 7 isn't just another test flight, it's the prelude to something revolutionary. SpaceX has confirmed plans for one final ocean landing before attempting what many consider impossible, catching the massive spacecraft with the launch tower itself. The engineering challenges involved in this catching mechanism are staggering. Imagine trying to catch a 50-meter tall, supersonic spacecraft with a tower. The precision required is unprecedented in the history of spaceflight. Yet the data from S-31's recovered components is already informing crucial modifications to make this seemingly impossible feat achievable. Every piece of S-31 recovered from the Australian waters contributes to this ambitious goal. Engineers work around the clock, analyzing stress patterns, studying material fatigue, and designing reinforcements for the areas that will bear the brunt of the catch maneuver. Each modification brings us one step closer to a future where spacecraft landings are as routine as airline arrivals. The implications of these developments extend far beyond technical achievements. We're witnessing the birth of technologies that will eventually carry humans to Mars. Each successful launch, each recovered component, each lesson learned brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The recovered parts of S-31 sitting in research facilities today aren't just spacecraft components. They're pieces of humanity's future among the stars. But this journey is far from over. As engineers continue to analyze the recovered components, new questions arise alongside new solutions. The next few months promise to be crucial as SpaceX prepares for Flight 7, incorporating all the insights gained from S-31's recovery. The space industry holds its breath, waiting to see how these discoveries will influence the next chapter in our journey to the stars. As we've seen today, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The recovery of S-31's components in Australia, while not a complete ship recovery, has provided invaluable insights that will shape the future of spacecraft design. Combined with Falcon 9's incredible achievement of 400 successful missions, these milestones demonstrate that we're entering a new era of space technology. The competition in space exploration is intensifying, with China's ambitious lunar plans adding urgency to humanity's reach for the stars. But it's the next chapter that truly excites us. 
SpaceX's bold plan to catch Starship with the launch tower after Flight 7. This could revolutionize how we think about spacecraft, recovery, and reusability. These developments aren't just technical achievements. They're stepping stones toward making life multiplanetary. Each recovered component, each successful launch, brings us closer to regular lunar missions and eventually human footprints on Mars. If you found today's coverage of these groundbreaking developments fascinating, take a moment to support our channel. Hit the like button if you believe in humanity's future in space and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on which milestone excites you the most. S-31's recovery, Falcon 9's 400th mission, or the upcoming tower catch attempt. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration. Every subscriber helps us continue bringing you in-depth coverage of humanity's journey to the stars. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through today's space developments. Until next time, keep watching as history unfolds above us. Targeted for mid-2025, the company appears well-positioned to meet these requirements and potentially secure valuable military contracts. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to demonstrate its operational prowess, recently completing its 400th successful Falcon launch. The CRS-31 cargo mission to the International Space Station showcased the company's reliability, delivering 6,000 pounds of crucial supplies and scientific equipment. The mission's booster, B-1083, achieved its fifth successful landing, adding to SpaceX's impressive record of 362 booster recoveries. However, recent events have highlighted the challenges of maintaining safety standards while pushing operational boundaries. NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel has raised concerns about three consecutive issues over three months with Falcon 9 rockets. These include a second stage problem in July, a booster landing failure in August, and an engine issue during the Crew-9 mission in September. While none of these issues compromise mission objectives, they've prompted important discussions about the balance between rapid launch cadence and operational safety. Former astronaut Kent Rominger emphasized the need for significant attention to detail as hardware ages and operations increase in frequency. SpaceX's response to these challenges demonstrates why they remain the industry leader. Their ability to quickly identify and resolve issues, often in days or weeks rather than months or years, sets them apart from competitors. This combination of rapid problem solving and transparent safety protocols continues to earn them trust from both commercial and government clients. The emergence of Neutron represents a pivotal moment in commercial spaceflight. While SpaceX maintains its position as the industry leader, Rocket Lab's innovative approach and rapid development pace suggest we're entering a new era of competition in space launch services. The question isn't whether Rocket Lab can match SpaceX's current capabilities. It's whether their fresh approach to rocket design and manufacturing will forge a new path in the industry's evolution. As we look ahead to 2025, the space launch industry stands at a fascinating crossroads. While SpaceX continues to dominate with its impressive track record of 400 successful launches, Rocket Lab's Neutron represents more than just another competitor. It symbolizes a new approach to rocket development that could reshape the entire industry. The contrast couldn't be more striking. SpaceX's proven reliability and scale facing off against Rocket Lab's innovative engineering and cost-efficient development. Both companies are writing their own chapters in the story of commercial.